Hi, this is Strummer with Steve, and today we're going to take a look at what happens when you play the same four chords, but put the rhythm in a different way, which is actually not a bad idea for songwriting, and if you listen carefully, what does happen in some songs. So what I'm doing is putting a boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom. The accent is on the first chuck of the chaka chaka. Boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom. Boom boom chaka chaka boom boom chaka chaka boom. E minor, C. D, G, E minor, C, D, G. So that'll be the first strum pattern where we're putting that emphasis on the, the first, well we have the boom boom and then we have the chuck. What's happening here is one into entry and four and one into entry and four and one into entry and four and one. One into entry and four and one into entry and four and one into entry and four. Much busier and fuller, isn't it, than the other one? The other one had some space in it, and this one's really dense. So one into entry and four and one into entry and four and one into entry and four and one into entry. So that's a syncopated feel, which means I'm putting the accent on the and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And to keep it from feeling too dense, I'm putting some palm mutes in. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. And the palm mutes are on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now, what happens when you put both of these together? I'm going to do the first pattern twice, the second pattern twice. It makes it feel like two different. It can be the same four chords in the same order, same tempo, but it's going to have a different feel. Change. Feel how it changed the feel, the chords were still showing up, but it's what we do with the rest of it, what we're doing with the, the timing of the strumming and adding accents and those kind of things can make it sound really different. And that's actually what people are doing when they're writing music. If you're one of those people that wants to try your hand at writing some music, try chord progressions like this. Try changing the strumming and uh, just see what happens. See where it takes you. Well, that's Strumming with Steve and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and come on over to Jam Play if you really want to learn how to play guitar. We'll see you there.